Hey everybody, Colin here, and uh, I'm excited because I just got a package in the mail, and I'm going to unbox it here and show you the contents. Now this is from my friend Jazzy Jeff. I'll put all of his information in the description, like links to his Facebook and, and other places. And uh, recently he ran a little contest, which was Name the Different Parts of Combo Man, who is a early 90s Marvel guy who is made of 14 different other Marvel guys and you have to identify what's what so it was a lot of fun and it made me very hungry for combos because he was created to promote the little rolls of uh, deliciousness so I think I might get some after this video the pizza kind but anyway I digress let's get started here with this so I'm just gonna open it here now and let me see here Looks like here's a good place to start, right along the seam. All right, and it's getting open here now. So let's see. All right, package is opened. What's <laughs> what's first? Awesome. It appears to be a VHS tape of, ooh, Wavelength, The Alien Terror is Here on Earth, a film that vibrates good dialogue and shimmers with high quality acting from Dwayne Burge of The Hollywood Reporter. Man, this, okay, straight up alone, I know there's more in this box, but this is amazing. Look at, look at that cover. There's like some guy... Looking at a crazy alien in a tank. I think I recall seeing this when I was a kid. Um, I, like the cover, I mean, in the video store. I don't know if I've ever watched it or not, but uh, we're going to find out very soon. Because uh, that's awesome. So, amazing. I'm very excited about that. Thank you. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Uh, let's go with... Ooh, here's, sorry, the letter is first probably I should have read that first but uh, this is awesome let's see special prize jazzy box I love it thanks for playing jazzy's combo man challenge and being a part of this great monthly box you have won awesome inside your box you'll find at least one VHS a film that represents what I think you'll enjoy the most yep trading cards stickers trinkets and toys oh, I love it Retro offers and promotions that have long expired. Who doesn't love trash? I love trash. That's great. Oh, this is terrific. Sometimes stepping into the past not only evokes nostalgia, but it can evoke positivity. I agree completely with that. That's terrific. All right, this is so great. And it has all of his information down here at the bottom. Like I said before, I'm going to put it in the description of this video. So please go check out his stuff. A lot of fun, and uh, I'm very excited. And there's some cool pictures of the the real Ghostbusters and Batman there for you guys to see, so very cool. And let's see, next up in the box is one of those old promotions. It's a Cheerios Kids Catalog, Toys and Gifts for Growing Minds. It's an ad for the catalog, so very cool. When did this expire? Uh... September 30th, 1997, so, I don't know, maybe I'll fill it out and see what happens. You know, send it in. I love it. Alright, let's see what's next in here. Looks like, ooh, okay, this is a Hot Wheels or, or Matchbox car, I don't know, but it's, it's the Batmobile. Pretty sweet right there, so that'll, that'll be going on my shelf of random knickknacks and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Very good. Oh, Ertl made this. Very cool, from 89, so awesome, I love it. Okay, very cool, very cool. This is like way more than I ever anticipated getting, so Jazzy Jeff, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. All right, so moving along here. There, what is this? Okay, so we'll start with this first of all. It is a Disney video shopping guide. Very cool. And uh, you can see the, the hunchback of Notre Dame gargoyles there. 
That should tell you when this was. Oh, and also, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves is on the back. So, very cool. 101 Dalmatians with Meryl Streep. Oh, amazing. Very cool. Awesome. Looks like 1997 issue, so very cool. I'm excited about that. All right, and going on with the uh, the uh, ads for things in here. Here's an ad for from Nestle for Hunchback of Notre Dame ink stamper sets. My God, that is weird, but I kind of love it. I, uh, I think I need to track down these ink stampers now. I don't know why, but uh, that's pretty neat. When did this expire? Let's see. Uh, through April 21st, 1997. So I, I highly doubt that they would honor this, but uh, I don't know. They might. I might get some ink stampers in the mail here pretty soon. That would be very cool. All right. Let's see. Looks like we got a whole bunch of cards in here, which is uh, pretty neat. Let's see, let me kind of pull these out. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I don't know if these are all, it doesn't appear to be all from the same uh, different brands. There's all kind of different stuff in here. So, but just right off the top, we got this amazing Robin Hood Prince of Thieves card with Robin of Loxley himself right there, boom. Prince of Thieves, collect all 55 cards and nine stickers. This is card number two, so this is a good start to the collection. Robin Hood. Kevin Costner follows his Oscar-winning successes in Dances with Wolves by starring as Robin Hood, one of America's most admired leading men. Costner has appeared in such hits as Bull Durham, Field of Dreams, and The Untouchables. Excellent. Thank you for telling me all about the movie card. I love it. All right, looks like... What is this here? Ooh! It's a Miller High Life card. <laughs> That's great. But it's got this like retro artwork of looks like a hunter and he's enjoying Miller High Life. So take a look. Very cool. Miller supported its strong outdoor heritage through advertising such as this. Long a favorite with outdoorsmen, Miller returned the attention with stylized ads and magazines of the day. Part of Miller's attentiveness in this area stemmed from the then president, Frederick C. Miller's background. He was an All-American football player at Notre Dame under Newt Rockney and was involved in numerous other sporting ventures. Oh, very cool. So I guess in 1995, Miller had a trading card set. This is card number four, so that's kind of amazing. I, I never knew that Miller would have trading cards. Very cool. <laughs> Okay, all right, there's a lot here, so let's see what's next. Man, this is a ton. Okay, so I see right here uh, Gwillem Griffiths from The Sixth Finger. This is from The Outer Limits. So this is like an Outer Limits card. Oh, very cool. I love The Outer... So 1997, it looks like, for this trading card, they made an Outer Limits card set. So I, I'm not familiar with this set, but I'd like to. I, I love The Outer Limits, so this is like amazing. Very cool. Yep, Gwillem Griffiths. He was played by uh, David McCallum, who you might know as uh, Ducky if you watch NCIS. He was in a whole bunch of other stuff too, like um, Sapphire and Steel was a really weird like British uh, sci-fi show where he like travels through time and he's like plays Steel, like the actual element of Steel that's become a human being. It's really weird. But, uh, no, this is great. Outer Limits card, love it. Okay, what's next? Oh my goodness. It just, like, keeps going here. What is... Let's go with this here. I, I have no idea what the heck this is. Oh my god, is this a Harry and the Hendersons card? Oh my god, it is a Harry and the Hendersons card. I love it. Awesome. That's amazing. Nosy neighbor Irene. Having a Bigfoot in the house is trouble enough. God, I know that all too well. But with an inquisitive neighbor like Irene popping in, the Hendersons really have their hands full. <laughs> Irene is played by famed singer-entertainer Lainey Kazan. Oh my God. So this is card number nine of however many is in the set. Usually card sets are like 55. And this is from 1987. Oh, this is amazing. 
super duper. <laughs> just that's that's great. Okay, so all right, let's let's move along here because this video is gonna be like really long. There's there is just so much like stuff that's piling out of here. It's it's awesome. So again, got a big shout out. Thank you, Jazzy Jeff. This is like way more than I ever thought. This is cool. Okay, what are these here? These appear to be other oh, two different sets. Okay, so let's start with these. These are The Mask. You remember the Jim Carrey movie? Well, they made a cartoon show, I remember. Oh, let's center these a little bit. Um, but yeah, these are mask bend and peel, so they're stickers. So you can stick these on like your Trapper Keeper or something. Uh, this one's really cool. I really dig this one that has... Uh, the dog like holding the mask before it's on his head that's that's awesome and then this one here is the mask who's like looks like he's like Julius Caesar or something so that's awesome I, I don't know part of me wants to like keep everything pristine but another part of me thinks that these might actually go on one of my various like trapper keepers or notebooks or something so awesome and then there's another two stickers here or I apologize three these look like they're from the Slimer cartoon like Slimer and the real Ghostbusters I, I would imagine so they're pretty neat here's one of it looks like Slimer is dressed up like some girl and some monsters going whoa and save these stickers in your diamond sticker album huh. if you already have it trade it to a friend for one you need so I don't have this one I actually don't have any of these three or any other additional Slimer cards but uh, here's one with him and the, like a bunch of kids in the little Ghostbusters jalopy I'm not as familiar with this with this show if it is the Slimer and the real Ghostbusters I'm thinking about and then here's one it looks like I don't know some crazy like scientist guy with a little chihuahua I, I don't know what's going on but awesome Okay, and now we have, I'm kind of organizing these as I go. Here are, this is awesome, a bunch of Garbage Pail Kids uh, cards. So I'll go through these one by one. And it looks like on the back, if you combine them, they'll form like a big picture. Right off, right up off the bat, we have Ultraviolet. <laughs> Hilarious. She's the Coppertone girl getting sunburned to death. Amazing. Oh, here's Charred Chat. Oh, and these are stickers, too. Hell yes. Ooh, man, I might have to... I have a sticker album from when I was, like, a, a wee lad. And uh, it's actually on the shelf here behind me. It's filled with, like, old He-Man and Ninja Turtle stickers and stuff. So I used to have, like, a sticker album. So I, I think it'd be fun to start a new one, like, with all this stuff. That'd be awesome. Here's Charred Chad, who's, like, a Godzilla. And if these don't focus, then... Sorry, but uh, Charred Chad? Ball and chain? Oh, he's a criminal and it's a ball and chain, but the, the, the ball's his head. Oh, no, they got him busting up rocks. Maybe he's going to make license plates later. Very cool. And on the back of this one, it's got a weird, like, Facebook spoof thing. I don't know. That's really odd, but really cool. Oh. This one's awesome. Green Jean. She's like a, a fly creature. Outstanding. And lastly, but not leastly, Newly Dead Ed. And he's oh, blowing himself out. I love this. This is my favorite part of the card. He's got his uh, like brains are <laughs> flying out of his head. <laughs> Incredible. That is awesome. Okay, so... More cards here. Yeah, like I said, this thing just keeps going. So these are... I don't even know what these are. Star Picks Inc.'s Troll Force cards. So these are from 92. So I'm wondering if these have any kind of relation to the Troll Dolls that were, you know, popular then. But uh, these are, like, really... I don't know if they are because, like, this one's, like, Urban Slosh. He's, like, this drunken troll monster thing. And then this one here is... The Tough Trolls. Oh, they're like eating a bunch of slop. I don't know what's happening there, but either way, that's pretty cool. Hogwina Chow So and the whole Hungry Gang can't stop eating. 
and the troll town trolls know better than to wander too close when they're in one of their feeding frenzies. So I have no idea what these are, but uh, I'm, it's something I'm going to look into and, and figure out because I'm, I'm really curious now. All right, and then last for the opened cards here, I think. I'll check the box again before. This is a Pro Set. This is a, I'm sorry, Pro Set Superstars musical cards. So they're like cards of singers and, and stuff like that. But I got Richard Marks, who writes songs all the time, says singer Richard Marks. And Catherine White, who is a Los Angeles-based singer, who began her career doing backgrounds for such artists as O'Brien, Julio Iglesias, the Commodores, Ray Parker Jr., mm, uh, Shanice Wilson, and Richard Marks. Oh man, so this is this is like a matched pair right here. Look at this. She got her start working for this. Oh, thematically appropriate. Thank you. Very cool. Also, I have no idea who either of these two people are, so <laughs> that kind of actually makes it a little bit better. Because now I need to figure out like who this like Springsteen ripoff guy is and see if I can find this lady like dancing in the background of a video. So awesome. Okay, so let's see. What is next? Okay, these are ooh, here is a pack unopened of those mask stickers. So this has what six stickers inside of there? Now the question is, do I want to open it? and see what's inside, or do do I want to keep this packaged as is? I don't know. You know what? You know what? I'm doing it. Okay. Oh my gosh, the seal's been broken. Let me pull out those other mask ones. So I already have the dog, and him as like a Roman guy, so let's see what's in this pack here. We've got him just like hanging out with his dog. That's pretty neat. There we go. And we've got, <laughs> I love this one. Uh, the mask is making his arms grow long like Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four. And he's giving this guy an atomic wedgie with his like heart boxer shorts. Incredible. And here's, I assume, main character. So it looks like, it looks like this could be from... Uh, the Batman the Animated Series, but they're like standing on the rooftop. Super exciting. Oh, this one's cool. This is a weird like severed head with robot legs who appears to be about to go and get his mail. So that's interesting. I, I kind of love that. Um, then here, it looks like they're all this, the, the same guy because here is another version of that severed head spider legs guy. I don't know, I'm going to call him Dr. Spider Legs for now. But he's got like blade arms. And then here is the mask like in front of a dude in a dunk tank. But if you look closely at the dunk tank victim's face, it's that same guy with the uh, spider leg head. So, interesting. Very cool. My god, and this, they're, they're numbered on the back. So they go up to like, I have, the highest number I have here is 116. So that's a ton of these stickers that exist. Okay, let's see what else here. Oh, cool. Toys R Us coupon book. Very nice. When's this? When do these expire? <laughs> Gotta check on that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. 1996. Yeah, it expires 97, so that's a, a good year for coupons was 97, because we got a bunch. That's very cool. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, that Nerf gun's sweet right on the front. Looks like a manta ray. I don't know. Kind of. Be cool outdoors. Oh, this Nerf gun is like a sweet like crossbow thing. Very cool. I love it. Awesome. Very neat. Okay. And the mask cards. And now we're getting into some stuff here. This guy's big. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this is awesome. It is Rodney Dangerfield from The Simpsons. That is so cool. And it looks like he comes with his little briefcase here. So let's see if I can put it in his hand here. Yep. Like he's he's traveling. He gets no respect. No respect at all. 
That was the worst Rodney Dangerfield impression you'll hear all day. Enjoy. But yeah, this is cool. This guy is going on my action figure shelf. Very cool. Oh, and he's got like little other accessories here. Let's see. Looks like a bag of candy. A little Polaroid picture of his father, who is Mr. Burns. And then <laughs> a sign for gone drinking. <laughs> That's awesome. If I recall the episode, now, he was looking for his dad, who was Mr. Burns, and he and Homer formed a friendship because, you know, they're, they're very alike. I don't remember the ending or anything like that, but I remember the gone drinking gave it away, like he put it on his desk or his door or something because he got a job at the power plant. That's so cool. I, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And then, let's see. Lastly, but not leastly for these things... This is a Willow Grove Park coin of some kind. And on the back, it's got like a little carousel. I hope that's focusing for you. Uh, carousel horse. So I don't, I don't know where Willow Grove is. Um, so I'm going to have to find out. I, is Willow Grove the name of the sanitarium from the first Halloween movie? When like Dr. Loomis and that nurse go and he's like, the patients are out. And uh, is that Willow Grove? Another thing to look into. But I'm sure this coin's not from the movie Halloween. I'm sure that's from something else. But either way, I'm going to check into it. And then, ooh, okay, very cool. A Central Pennsylvania 1993 Festival of the Arts pin, which is awesome because my art bag that I use to carry around with me is just covered in all kinds of different pins that I've collected from movies and artwork and all kinds of stuff. So this will be put on there. It's a very nice, got a nice little sponsored by Mellon Bank. That's cool. It's like a little star where I, I assume Central Pennsylvania is on there. You know, that's cool. The, uh, the outline of the uh, United States is very small and the stars are very big. So this Festival of the Arts could have happened anywhere from, I would say, Illinois to Rhode Island, somewhere in there. But, uh, very cool. I assume the middle of the star is right on like Altoona or that that area, State College. But very cool. All right, so let's see. Let me do one last check. See if there's anything else in the box here. This was already too much stuff. So Jazzy Jeff, thank you so much. This was like way more than I ever could have asked for. Oh, yeah, it does. It looks like there is a card stuck in here or something kind of wedged in there between the flaps. Okay. Oh, cool. Looks like another Slimer card. And that one definitely has Venkman. I, I assume that's Venkman based on the color of the jumpsuit. Very cool. And then here's another card for those weird trolls. Uh, this one's my favorite so far. It's like a troll guy on a motorcycle and the wheel's like a big Flintstones wheel and it's squishing a cat into it. So... That is like very random and very, very awesome. So that, this was really great. Uh, I think, yeah, I believe that's everything. I just, I don't want to forget anything here. This was a ton of stuff. This was a ton of fun to open and like the surprises are just great. And they kept coming. Like everything was really weird and random and just awesome. So Jazzy Jeff, thank you so much, man. If you guys out there, uh, you know want to see some great stuff check out his stuff online like i said links will be in the description so check it out and i don't know if he's gonna do like a subscription based box thing like a monthly box or anything but either way this was this was a ton of fun so if you're into that kind of thing and, and jazzy jeff if you start doing those i highly recommend it so very cool all right guys this this was a real fun or a real treat i hope you enjoyed watching that i love the crazy randomness so until next time, we'll see ya. Bye.